Hyvää huomenta Suomesta. Good morning from Finland. And it's a wet Finland today. Yep, it's raining outside. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit giddy today. But uh, yeah, uh, those of you that grow crops and have had this uh, also as a part of your life will know that it's really, really nice to occasionally get help from our wonderful Mother Nature. And um, because let's face it, some people have quite a long journey to their allotment. Um, we know people that have an allotment here where we live. They live in Helsinki. They have to drive about 55 minutes to get to their allotment. So you can imagine how their day starts if um, it's been dry for about two or three days. They really have to make that journey and get here really early in the morning and water their plants. And with petrol prices the way they are at the moment and diesel prices, it must be a real pain in the backside, I can tell you. So thank you, Mother Nature, for helping those people. Brilliant. Um, we're lucky. Our allotment's only three and a half kilometres away, so I can go on my bike. And uh, it's good exercise as well. And so, yeah, we're, we're quite lucky in, in that respect. But, hey... First of all, I would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you so much to everyone that's been um, following me and this channel. Um, I'm just an average guy, like I've already mentioned before. Nothing very special, just an average guy, an average Joe. Um, that's just falling into this lovely hobby about 10 years ago. And any comments that you leave to do with Oi, you're not doing that properly, mate. Do it like this, it's better. Please send them. Because I'm learning all the time. And I'm a great believer in it doesn't matter how much experience you've got, you can always learn something from someone else. So thank you to any of you that have sent me comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, I just thought I'll give you a quick update. As you will know from a previous video that I only made about, was it four or five days ago? It was when I was uh, climatizing my plants, or should I say our plants? How selfish, Brendan. They're not my plants, they're our plants. I have a wife and a friend. So selfish. Um, anyway, yeah, I was climatizing the plants on the balcony and it was there, you know, it was only the last time that I was planning on climatizing them because we've had a bit of a strange start to the summer the daytime temperatures haven't been that great and the nighttime temperatures were a tiny little bit cold so we've held them back for probably a week or two longer than what we normally do on our balcony and there came a situation the other day where the weather took a turn for the slightly better direction where the nighttime temperatures started to get above five degrees during the night and that's the level where a lot of your plants, if you've been climatizing them on your balcony or in your back garden, will start to succeed and be okay when you transfer them to your allotment or garden. And if you want to know about how I climatize those plants, please check that video out. It's a short and sweet video. So I'm, hopefully some people will learn something from that. But yeah, we had a bit of a hurry to get them there because the aubergine plants or the eggplants, if you're from America, and thank you so much to your support as well, by the way. I've noticed I've been getting a few, quite a few people, uh, quite a high percentage of people from there watching these videos. Thanks a lot, my American friends. Um, and yes, eggplants. Why do you call them eggplants? Well, I had to look it up today and apparently because we call them aubergine plants, us European people. Uh, apparently, immigrants that bought the first aubergines over to North America many years ago were very pale in colour, and they looked a bit like eggs. So that's why you call them eggplants, and we weird Europeans call them aubergine plants. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I had a bit of a hurry to get them to the allotment because they were already flowering as you'll see from one of those videos about the climatization of the plants and I didn't want them to pollinate indoors it's best if they pollinate outdoors so I had a bit of a hurry to get the plants there with my friend 
he picked me up in his car we went there and then i put them into our tent greenhouse that we have and planted them in sacks our tomatoes and our aubergines so I wasn't able to take a video of that, but I will make an, a video of that pretty soon, maybe next week or something. And I'll go over very quickly and briefly the sacks that we used and how I put them in there. Another thing that I did after the peas and the soybeans, um, which I also made a video of, is I planted some red onions as well because I really wanted to get them into the ground as soon as possible because the later into June you get in Finland especially because you know that the winter is going to start coming in November probably or it's going to be too cold um, so yeah I put them into the ground already uh, a couple of days ago and um, but I thought I would leave half of them for another day because my wife is into something called the moon the lovely moon and its gravitational effects and everything else. I won't go into it now, but I like that she's into that. And she said, hey, yeah, plant half of them in a couple of weeks' time because the moon's going to be in, in that state that it will help them to pull the plants and the seedlings through the, through the soil. So they might even catch up with the ones that I planted three days ago. So when I plant those next week, I'll take a short video for you all so you can see how I personally plant red onions. But yes, anyway, thank you so, so much for the support that you're giving me. This is just uh, something that I came up with, this YouTube channel, just like that. I don't know why I started doing it. The universe just said, Brendan, you'll need to start making videos about aspects of life and that's that's why and I had the urge to make these videos because of the times that we're living in as well I think everything's coming to a head now and I had a need to express myself for you because you're not alone anyway I won't go too deeply into that now but thank you so much for supporting this channel and just briefly I, I can already tell you all that in Finland, up until I would say three years ago, it was quite normal that already by now we would have had a, about, let's say, 10 to 20 days over 20 degrees because we're already coming up to the second week of June. But up until now, we've only had about three days of just over 20 degrees. So, yeah, just think about that for a while, because last summer was the same, actually, practically. So there's starting to be a bit of a trend uh, towards the cooler side of things. And that's why we had to hold back our plants at home for as long as we did, because otherwise they would have been at the allotment before they started to flower. And now I'm talking about the eggplants and the aubergines for you, those of you in Europe and America. <laughs> but hey, have a lovely day, take care, and I'll be back with another update pretty soon. See ya. Bye.